And a big welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm your host, Dave Erickson. So glad you're watching. I think you're gonna like this one, the 2014 Chevy Impala, a full-size front-wheel drive sedan with seating for five, and it's all new for 2014. Let's get started. Chevy has completely redesigned the Impala for 2014, its iconic flagship sedan, with head-turning styling, greater interior spaciousness, and advanced technologies never before available in an Impala. The 2014 Impala is new from the ground up, with muscular design elements that provide a nod to the past while embracing Chevy's modern styling. It represents the 10th generation of one of the industry's most enduring and popular nameplates. Its long, low proportions has a windswept profile that suggests motion, while the range of 18, 19, and 20-inch wheels is tailored to the body that provide that just-right stance. At the front, low-profile projector beam headlamps, or HID headlamps, or LED daytime running lamps on the LTZ, which sweep around the corners and frame a wide grille. Sculpted coves in the body sides add to the Impala's design drama with a sweeping signature cue in the rear fenders that acknowledges classic Impala designs. This greenhouse area is long, enhancing the sleek look of the car while maintaining excellent visibility. The Impala for 2014 builds on Chevrolet's signature dual cockpit interior with greater attention to detail and upscale features. Seen in everything from the wraparound flow of the bold instrument panel into the door panels and the available ambient lighting. The instrument panel integrates a dynamic instrument cluster with a standard 4.2 inch color display with reconfigurable features for the driver information center. I think the everyman driver will appreciate 10 standard airbags as well as available safety technologies such as full speed range adaptive cruise control, crash imminent braking, forward collision alert, lane departure warning, side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, rear camera and rear park assist. Under the hood of the Impala for 2014, you have three engine choices. You have the base 2.5 liter with an inline four. You have a 2.4 liter with an inline four with E assist. And my tester, the 3.6 liter with a V6. Each made it to a six speed automatic transmission. As far as fuel economy numbers, you're looking at 18 miles per gallon in the city projected for 2014 and up to 28 on the highway for a combined projected number of 21 miles per gallon. Not too shabby for a vehicle that has 300 horses under the hood. As I mentioned, the Impala offers three powertrains, each featuring fuel-saving direct injection and lightweight components. My tester, the 3.6-liter V6, is rated at 305 horsepower and 264 pound-feet of torque. That's the highest horsepower output in the segment for a naturally aspirated V6 engine. Now that Ecotec 2.5-liter is part of a new family of four-cylinder engines developed with increased efficiency and greater refinement. It's rated at 196 horsepower and 186 pound-feet of torque. Impala's Ecotec 2.4-liter engine with E-Assist provides electrical assist in certain conditions to help save fuel. It's rated at 182 horsepower and is projected for 2014 to get 36 miles per gallon on the highway. That vehicle will be available later this year. The powertrains are the force behind Impala's confident, responsive driving experience, which is tuned for comfortable performance and rooted in a more robust body structure. This wheelbase is about an inch longer than the previous model with a slightly wider rear track, giving this new Impala an excellent feeling of comfort and control no matter what the road conditions. All models feature an electric variable assist steering system that helps save fuel by drawing energy only when the steering wheel is turned. It also incorporates pole drift compensation, 
which automatically adjusts the steering effort to account for factors such as a crowned road or high crosswinds. Factors that typically cause the driver to turn the steering wheel slightly to maintain a straight path. Let's take a look at some real world legroom and headroom in the back of the Impala. And I got to tell you, this is a very luxurious place to be. The seats are a little bit on the stiff side, at least right now. I like the leather interior appointed seating. You've got this jet black, dark titanium color scheme inside, which really is nice. As far as headroom, this is very nice. You have this indent in the roof line, which is perfect for me. I'm 5'11", so I've got plenty of headroom. Here's my seating position as a driver. As you can see here, again, we're in a full-size sedan. I've got plenty of room between my knees and the back of the seat. You got your four O blank handles all the way around. There's some space behind the driver's seat and passenger seat for some storage. Cup holders in both side doors. Fold-down armrest also has a pair of cup holders. You've got this power sunroof with a second row skylight, which I think is a very nice touch here. This is a nice place to be. I really like this. And the details, you gotta like these details. If you look closely, you see some light blue or aqua stitching here in the back of the seats, as well as the seats that I'm sitting on here. In the doors, they have white stitching. The attention to detail is amazing. I really like this. So this is what you can expect when you're sitting in the back of the 2014 Chevy Impala. Let's take a look now at the cargo space and trunk room. You have three ways to open the trunk lid of the 2014 Chevy Impala. There is a button just to the left of the steering wheel. There's of course a button here in the key fob and one just below the trunk lid. Press that little button, up comes your trunk lid. And here is a huge amount of space. Again, we're, we're emphasizing a full size sedan, 18.8 .8 cubic feet of volume back here. It actually looks bigger, a nice wide opening here. And just below the floorboard, you do have a spare tire and a little bit extra space as well. Here's something I think you'll like and I know I appreciate it. If you have any large containers or maybe some luggage or even a bicycle that you want to put back here in the cargo area, there's no chance for these elbow joints to come in contact with them based on how this is designed. I really like that. In some cases, if you were to bring this down, this elbow joint will pinch based on what you have right there. But the way this is designed, it's hidden away and you'll never have that problem. Also, you have a 60-40 split back seat here that does fold down, but to fold it down, you have to access that from inside the vehicle. Not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. Otherwise, lots of cargo space here in the back of the 2014 Chevy Impala. So the beginning MSRP here in the 2014 Chevy Impala 2 LTZ is around $36,000. My tester also has about $4,000 worth of extras, some very nice extras. You have the premium package, audio navigation, the works. So what you see right here is around $40,000. I want to thank my friends over at Camp Chevrolet in Spokane, Washington for loaning us the vehicle this week. Visit them at CampChevrolet.com. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching.